welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. This is my pepper shelf that I have under LED lights. And I have that turned off right now, otherwise the picture would be all pink. Uh, but I have 13 different varieties of peppers all on this shelf. And some I have only one of. I think there's only one I only have one of. This is an El Oro de, de Ecuador. I got that from Seeds Overseas and for some reason that was the only one that germinated. And I just started that one last month, I think. So the rest of these were started much earlier. Some of them back in November and others in December. But I've been picking off flowers because I don't want those to produce flowers because I want the concentration to be on root growth. So as you can see, there's a lot of flowers on this particular variety, which is the Cajun Bell. So I need to go through and get those cut off before they get too big. And some of these I have cut back a little bit and others I've just let grow. But that Cajun Bell and also the Italian Long Hots, they grow pretty fast compared to the other varieties, so I have trimmed those back once or twice. And I've also got some peppers down here, and this is under my shop light on T8 bulbs. So these are some of the same varieties that I'm growing under the LED lights. So I wanted to do a little bit of comparison to show you what the the difference is, if any, compared to those growing under the LED lights. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see a comparison video showing the difference between the peppers grown under the LED light and those grown under the shop light. And here I have four different varieties, one um, of each variety that's grown under LEDs and one under the shop lights. So on the left are the ones grown under the shop light. And one thing, they look pretty similar. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the shop light peppers seem to have slightly darker colored leaves. This here is a California Reaper, and this is one I did not trim, so it's um, getting a little bit tall, but it, it's still pretty bushy compared to some of the other varieties. And then in the back I have Brazilian Starfish, and this one I did trim. You can see where I trimmed here, and also I trimmed here. And that one is also a little bit lighter on the one that's grown under LED. But again, the growth as far as the height is pretty similar, so there's not too much difference in the height of the plant. Now when we get over to the ahi lemon, or limon, the one on the left here, it's darker, but some of the leaves are curling a little bit, and I do not have that problem with those under the LED. So I'm not sure what's causing the leaf curl. Um, but I might give it some fertilizer and see if that helps. And then also I have an orange bell pepper. So again, this one is looking pretty similar. They're both about the same height. And this one I also trimmed on both of these. And I trimmed them about a month ago. So they have gotten a little bit bushier. And you can see there's some flowers starting to form that I need to chop off there. So that's the comparison. So not a whole lot of difference, maybe slightly lighter leaves on the LED, but the height is about the same and they all look pretty healthy. And the fertilizer I've been using is this organic Neptune's Harvest. It's a fish and seaweed fertilizer. And I just mix it in um, with a gallon of water, maybe a couple teaspoons, and I've been bottom watering. Another thing I have on my shelves down here, I have a little bowl, I have a couple of these bowls, and I have apple cider vinegar in here. And this one is about needing to be replaced, but the fungus gnats are att attracted to apple cider vinegar. So I've got a couple of these bowls. There's another one over here. And fungus gnats are not good for your plants, uh, so I, have done this and it seems to be attracting them pretty good so hopefully that'll help the plants out. So that's pretty much it. Oh I also wanted to to mention a lot of people um, that grow peppers grow them in these solo cups 
So I thought I'd give it a try. And you can see there's two solo cups in here. And what people do is they take the first cup and they cut some fairly large holes in the bottom for the roots to come out. And then in the bottom cup, they add the water and nutrients to that cup. And that's how you feed this plant. And this allows the roots to go out the bottom and not coil around inside of the pot, like I'm sure a lot of these are doing. You can't see them, but if, if I take this out of the pot, so you can see there's a lot of roots that are starting to coil around. So that causes root bound and it's hard for the plant to get nutrients. So what I'm doing is if the plant is starting to look kind of not very healthy, then what I'm doing is repotting them into the solo cups to see if that will help um, the plant recover. And you can see some more over here. I've had not very good luck with the sugar rush. I only have two sugar rush plants and they're not the healthiest of plants. So this one I put in one of the solo cups and I'm hoping it'll recover, but the, the leaves you can see are pretty yellow and just kind of falling off. Um, but hopefully after putting in this container, it'll kind of recover. So that's pretty much it for the peppers. Um, thanks for watching and I'll be posting another update probably on the tomatoes soon.